in the That's the, the double events. broadsword, right? Mm -hmm. and that's something I'm very much looking forward to watching. I said I've just had the privilege of watching all of these practitioners training on this mat. And I can tell you one thing, you're all in for a treat if you've never seen Wushu before because you can see some really special things before this part of the 14th World Wushu Championships closes. Opening with uh, Axe Fist. A series of punches are the Crushing Fist. And I noticed that foot, those foot, that footwork with the rear foot essentially trailing the exact line right. of the front foot. And the moment the back foot steps in is where all the power explodes from the punch. Right, right. Absolutely fascinating stuff, and like all well, the other internal martial arts styles, uh, great for physical conditioning. You see, there's also a lot of breathing control here. Yeah. But also that straight form, the bent legs. Almost a Tai Chi ending to the to the routine, just calming all that force down. You're right. Sure, you don't want to walk off the mat with unwanted force, so it all gets dispelled in exactly the right way. It is a very interesting topic, internal and external martial arts, and I think a lot of people that maybe have seen glimpses of this style, a lot of the styles have been put into, of course, movies and and uh, over the last 10, 20 years, but with a 9.02 for Corey Johnston. But if you really would like to find out more, then just, as I said, read into internal and external martial arts and you'll learn a lot more about power control, body mechanics, martial structure. These are all terms that define body position on the mat. And of course, how you move forward within the style. So up next, we have from Turkey, Nekmetin Bakan Akyuz. And he's also returned to this event. He placed third at the World Wushu Championships two years ago. And first place consecutively at the last two World Traditional Wushu Championships. Oh, wow. A lot of experience in that. Just waiting to come onto the mat from the right corner, right bottom right corner. Just waiting for the judges, especially the head judge I can see, just to resolve some of these, what looks like a computing issue. Once again, these are custom built Wushu scoring systems to aid the judges. And it just gives that extra level of micro analysis It's also interesting to note that there are a lot of well, all the other judges that have um, been scoring over the last five days are gathered off on well from our commentary position off on the right side. And as you said before, Anthony, that they might actually be switched out if they need to or relieved. Right. And that's in, in case for uh, if they need a rest or we can add some back in because for the double ha double weapons, you'll see that they will be adding C. Um, actually, yeah. they won't be adding seat in that one. Yeah. Um, but people are allowed to put those movements in. They just won't be counting toward. It won't be counted towards them. And their scores, obviously. Right. So a nervy moment for Nick Metin Abakan. He's already seen a 9.27. I would assume, from from an outsider's point of view, that um, well, 9.15 has been edited. Yeah, I see. 
Okay, well that's said, very interesting. Uh, said there was an incorrect deduction for time. Okay. So 9.15. For Corey Johnston. He's going to be very happy with that. Is that something you you see very often? That um, you'd get a time reviewed, deduction. or you just first you get a reviewed decision, but a time deduction as well. Right. It rarely happens, but it does happen from time to time. 